give us an idea of where you started with this and what pro progress you've seen, let, let's just say over that time frame that from when you started. Sure. Yeah, no, happy to. So yeah, I, I, I started, I first got into, into healthcare IT really just jumping right into interoperability where a lot of people enter healthcare and health IT starting like in a provider organization where you're working on all the various systems that are within a hospital, let's say, as you were describing, and then you start to think about how it builds up from there. And that's where you start to confront the interoperability of things. I came in a, you know, a different path, almost sideways, where we were, I was working for a consulting firm at the time, the Boston Consulting Group, and we um, were hired by a, a group of organizations in um, Indianapolis to come and help to do some business modeling and business plan development for what ended up becoming IHI, the Indiana Health Information Exchange. So I spent a lot of time in Indianapolis working with the legendary figures at the Reagan Street Institute, like Clem McDonald and Mark Overhage, working on developing a business plan for taking all the great stuff that the Reagan Street Institute had been doing in interoperability and figuring out a retail, more commercial type of model to help expand that into the community. So I actually started in interoperability and then started working backward into electronic health records. But you know, but some of the some of the issues that you had just described in 2011, in 2002, all those issues were there and went even worse. And one of the biggest challenges I think was that most provider organizations and certainly in the ambulatory side didn't have electronic health records. Right? It was really just the hospitals. So everything that Indianapolis and the Reagan Street Institute had accomplished had been connecting up the hospital systems across the city. And then you have the wide swath of care that's out in the ambulatory setting, which as we, which as we know is where you know, the vast majority of care happens, was unconnected because no one had electronic health record systems. So that was the first issue that we, that we confronted. All the other issues that, that you were talking about were, were definitely there as well. The issues around standards, the issues around curation of data and normalizing data across those systems. That none of that's been cured yet, and we can talk about why some of those problems still persist, and some of the competitive issues that you talked about as well. I think that's getting better and better but over time, but certainly when we were you know, launching IHI in Indianapolis, one of the things that we spent a lot of time doing is working with the hospitals to, to get a consensus among them that doing interoperability in the ways that we were talking about with the health information exchange wasn't really competitive. It was more like a joint venture in the same way that they were pooling money to do joint laundry services. That was the analogy that I like to use. They used to say, you guys are all spending money, pooling your money to get more efficiency out of laundry for all your hospitals. You should be doing that for lab results delivery as well <laughs> because it doesn't give you a competitive advantage to have your own provider portal. Physicians actually hate that. They'd rather get everything through one place.